Hello vault dwellers and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making the Meyer Alert Queen steak from the Fallout cookbook. The ingredients we're going to need are a half of a cup of lump crab meat, a half of a cup of spinach that I measured and then roughly chopped, two scallions, the white and light green parts that I've sliced, one tablespoon of lemon juice, a half of a teaspoon of celery salt, three mushrooms that I've finely sliced, a half of a cup of room temperature cream cheese and I've got two roughly four ounce salmon fillets we're also going to need some additional salt and pepper and about a half of a tablespoon of oil that I already have heating up in my pan the first thing we need to do is saute our onions and mushrooms so I'm going to move you over to my stove so we can start that in my pan I've already heated up my oil and I'm going to add in my scallions as well as the mushrooms and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let these cook for about five minutes until the mushrooms are completely cooked through and the onions start turning translucent all right it has been about five minutes and our vegetables have softened up nicely I'm going to go ahead and add in our spinach and we're going to allow this to cook for about two minutes or until the spinach is wilted while I'm doing this, I would like to remind you of the Gamers and Geeks playlist that Jake Gadeth and I have going on in our channels. It is a community-driven playlist made of you, our friends, and YouTube family. If you would like to be a part of it, it's really easy. All you have to do is go out and make a cooking video. And once you've done that, post it to your channel and then let either Jake or I know. In the comments section of our latest cooking videos, or if you're a part of our Discord servers, you can let us know there as well. The only thing we do ask is that you mention the Gamers and Geeks playlist somewhere in your video, as well as leaving a link down in the description to it, and that way we can just continue to support all the people that have already contributed to the list. Hey guys, this is looking really good, and it's smelling really good so far. I'm going to let this cook for about another minute before I remove it from the heat, and I'm going to allow this to come to room temperature before we move on to the next step. now that our vegetables have cooled down I'm going to go ahead and add those into a bowl that I've already added in the cream cheese. You do want to be sure that there is no excess moisture in your vegetables after they've cooled down so I did check mine and there was none so I think we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and start stirring this around. Now that I have those incorporated I'm going to go ahead and add in the crab meat as well as the lemon juice and our celery salt and then I'm just going to stir these until they're well combined now that I have these combined I'm going to move my salmon fillets over I've already gone ahead and laid them out on a part or a, an aluminum foil lined sheet and all we need to do now is make a slit right down the center without going all the way through the skin and you want to do that for both of the fillets. Now that we've got that done, all I'm going to do is start taking our filling and laying it down inside the crevice first. And I'll do that for both of them. Actually, before I, we want to stuff those, we do want to season them with salt and pepper. I totally forgot. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper over each fillet. Just be sure if you try this that you do it before you add in your crab meat. And that should be good enough. Alright, I'm going to continue stuffing these. Now that I have these both stuffed, I'm just going to take any remaining crab meat filling and lay it on top. And then I'm just going to uh, spread it over the top. And you do want to divide this equally between the two of them. Alright, now that I have these both done, I'm going to put them into a 350 degree oven for about 18 to 20 minutes or until the crab meat stuffing starts to turn a nice light golden brown. So I'll see you when these are out of the oven. Our Marlar Queen steak is out of the oven and I will say it does smell very good. I'm serving it alongside some seasoned rice today as well as a side salad. But let's go in here and give it a taste, see what we think about it. 
all the salmon flakes apart really nicely. Let's get a piece of the salmon and the crab meat. That is really good. The sweetness from the crab meat pairs really well with the salmon and the lemon comes through. I think I could probably use just another little tad um, bit more lemon on it. But other than that, I really like this. I'll definitely be making this again. Well, that is going to be it for me for the day. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist as well as my other Fallout cooking videos. I will leave links down in the description to them. And as always, thank y'all so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.